For us humans, it's quite hard to grasp how big or small microbes actually are. Of course, when looking at microscope videos or pictures, usually microbe sizes are expressed in microns, or in rough comparisons. It is helpful, but not very intuitive. The actual size remains rather arcane. So, for the runtime of this video, I would like you to pick up a single hair, maybe from the ground or a pillow, and put it on the tip of your index finger. You're about to see various microbes directly beside a single hair under the microscope. The hair on your fingertip is a reference. So I will show you a little bit how I prepared these samples. I simply cut a short piece of hair and put it directly under the cover slip together with the samples. The single hair you're seeing is about 80 to 100 microns. Let's start off with the mascot of the microcosmos. A tardigrade, everyone's favorite. This one here is on the smaller side of the spectrum. Oh, by the way, if there is hair glowing in weird colors, that is because of polarized light. Well, this one here is a giant in comparison. Remember, tardigrades consist of around 1000 cells. Next, let's take a look at a unicellular creature. Here you can see how big Euglena sanguinea is in comparison to a single hair. For Euglena standards, sanguinea is on the bigger side of the spectrum. Let's go multicellular again. This is a Pteloid rotifer. Also this creature, just like the tardigrade, is roughly 1000 cells. For these rotifers, the hair is like a tree for us. People might know rotifers from fish food. They are used to feeding fish fry. And here we have Paramecium caudatum, a very common ciliate. It never misses an opportunity to squeeze through a gap. Also, surprisingly big. Let's also look at some algae. Here we have the Diatom pinularia. Please note some bacteria swimming by. And this is the diatom surirella much bigger in comparison. Also, I would like to mention the species of half-moon algae, Clostedium. Hematococcus pluvialis, the blood rain alga, should also be mentioned. It is one of the smaller organisms in this lineup. I think this shot is really impressive. Just have a look how they appear to the naked eye. It just puts it in perspective how high the magnification is.
Volvox is one of the more massive ones in comparison. Not much to see there. Spirostomum is just super massive. It's unbelievable that this is just one cell. On the other hand, yeast is the smallest organism in this lineup. Thank you for all the beer and the pizza. Last but not least, I would also like to include some human cells. First of all, you can see some cells of the oral mucosa. Rather big for a human cell. And then let's finish off nicely and in style with some human gametes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and allows you to understand more intuitively how big or small micro creatures are. Let's dig up some more dirt and let's stay curious. See you the next time. Bye bye.